Have you ever bought or rented a videotape that wasn't quite right? It may have been a pirate copy, an illegal and inferior copy for which you paid good money. Pirated tapes are recognisable by poorly presented or photocopied jackets, poor sound and or picture quality. The lack of sensor and other labels on the face and spine of the tape and the absence of warnings, such as this at the beginning of the tape presentation. Pirate tapes rob artists and studios of their rightful income and add to the cost of a video to the consumer. Video piracy is a major problem in Australia. Please help us stop it. If you buy or rent a tape which you believe is not the genuine article, please phone this toll-free number for advice. Or write to Post Office Box 515 Monavale, New South Wales 2103. This message is brought to you by the Australasian Film and Video Securities Office. I guess we look pretty silly at the moment. But uh, when it comes to ratings classifications, well, it's seriously important to choose the right movie for every member of the family. The films classified G are for a general exhibition that can be enjoyed by the whole family. Ride like the wind, bullseye! <laughs> <laughs> I know that you and I got off in the wrong pot. What do you say? Want to be friends? When viewing films classified PG, Parental guidance is recommended for persons under 15 years of age. That was a hell of a thing. Films rated M are recommended for mature audiences, 15 years and older. Movies classified MA cannot be seen by persons under 15 unless in the company of a parent or adult guardian. You kill him! You kill yourself! Hello! Ah! Give me back my son! Oh! <laughs> Movies rated R are restricted to adults, 18 years and over. <laughs> <laughs> Choose the right movie for your family. Film classification ratings help put you in the picture. of his people and created a sound all his own. His name, Arturo Sandoval. In Cuba, there's only one soloist. A man filled with passion for his people. This is the real thing. They're doing a traditional yambu. He's an honorary Cuban now. This is Gillespie. For his music the woman of his dreams. What's her name? Marinella. Where she live? None of your business. <laughs> He's a musician? His name is Arturo Sandoval. He's better than the best. That horn I heard tonight doesn't belong to you. Belongs to the whole world. He had everything. You tour, you're famous. I'm on display. 
except the one thing he wanted most. It's not about the money, it's about the music. His artistic freedom. Academy Award nominee, Andy Garcia. I want to start my own band. I want to do some fusion. I want to expand the whole concept of Cuban music. I want to bring it to a new international level. Mia Maestro. You miss Cuba. It means the way everything smells like sugar. Especially you, who's gotten so many things from the revolution. My talent comes from God, not even. Grammy Award winner, Gloria Estefan. The true African heart still beating here in Cuba. There's more, a lot more. To me right now, life is truly a dream. Sunday morning, one of our U-2s took these pictures. The Soviets are putting medium-range ballistic missiles into Cuba. Morning, gentlemen. Morning, Mr. President. Our cities in the southeast, as far north as Washington, D.C., are in range of these weapons. And in the event of a launch, we'll have only five minutes warning. In those five minutes, they could kill 80 million Americans. It was clear we cannot permit Soviet nuclear missiles in Cuba. We have to get those missiles out. The Soviet understands only one language, action. Respects only one word, force. I got a bad feeling about what's going on in there. Sir, I think we have to issue pre-invasion orders for our forces. There's no choice. It's going to cost lives anyway we go. We're talking about possible nuclear war. We've got a bunch of smart guys. We lock them in a room, but they come up with some solutions. The full spectrum of airstrikes is minimum response the Joint Chiefs will accept. No, no, no. There is more than one option here. You're in a pretty bad fix, Mr. President. Or maybe you haven't noticed you're in it with me. Those damn Kennedys are going to destroy this country if we don't do something about this. A lot of things are going wrong today. It's making everyone nervous. When more things go wrong, people will become more nervous, and it will be very hard to avoid going to war. Three, two, one. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This is a setup. They want a war, Jack, and they're arranging things to get one. What happens to you? I'll be evacuated with the president. And while you're under a rock somewhere, what am I supposed to do with your five children? Sometimes there is only one right choice. And you thank God when it's so clear. Stop that firing! Lied right to my face. Teddy, we need you to talk to them. And nobody plays us off each other, and nobody ever, ever gets between us. I wish for a second somebody else was president. You mean that? I said for a second. First airstrike start in 28 hours. The world's watching everything we're doing. I'm prepared to wait for my answer until hell freezes over. I am the commander in chief of the United States, and I say when we go to war. Check out those losers. Look at those losers over there. Oh, so desperate. I'm going in. Nice. Going later, the three of us can make a nice little bread sandwich. No, scamming is not the most important thing. It's just something I'm good at. Somewhere between what men say. I haven't had that many special relationships with girls. And what they mean. They see me, they smell me, they fuck. Please. Between what women mean. That was amazing. And what they say. I kind of felt sorry for the guy. It was kind of like sleeping with Rain Man. It was just kind of like... Bang it up against me like oh. Lies the truth. Oh. Oh. No one wants to hear. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Shit. Whipped. What is that? That's what keeps the chicks coming back, my man. Dares to take you. Oh. Why am I such an idiot? Deeper. Haven't you ever met a woman so special that you just didn't want to lose her? No, I'm married. Longer. Hey, oh my God, you go, girl. 
next, please? Harder. The guy's a freak in bed. And he'd be like, who's your dad? Who's your daddy? That was the most he ever asked me about myself. And farther. I'm in Brad Haven. All of a sudden, she started cleaning my tailpipe. Oh. You tasted your own asshole. Not by choice. Than you've ever gone before. You guys all know each other? She's got you all whipped. 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 I think I got something here. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's where it is. Come on. Give me that. Mary, not married, Mary, not married, Mary. <laughs> Do you know how much a killer gets for a movie right? Says in there he wants a million dollars. I used to be a killer in America. First scene of my new movie, action. Help me! Help me! Detective, you look like a murder. We don't know the cause of the deaths, and we get more, we'll let you know. Two visitors are about to bring America and action <laughs> to its knees. Can we deal for this? In prime time. Tonight I present to you material of a violent nature. We are insane. Who else but crazy men would film their crimes? No! No! Ready, set. Okay. Come on, it's going down! Two of New York's finest. Come on. That's supposed to be funny? Yeah, come on. Must stop the madness. I want to know who these guys are, and I want to know now. I had a video camera, and I just wanted them to get out of here. Bring cash. One million dollars. I don't want just blood and guts. If it bleeds, it bleeds. Maybe they're trying to send somebody a message. Could even be to humiliate them. You got to kill someone famous. You think you're gonna get away with it, huh? That's stupider than I thought. <laughs> Elon Cinema presents... I love America. No one is responsible for what they do. Robert De Niro. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Edward Burns. The media can be a powerful ally. Oh, yeah? Guess again. I say action. Shut up! minutes. Life, what is it all about? Love, 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 love. You want to be in love. You want to feel that first kiss again. The first kiss is always like double dutch. You're just sitting there like, when do I get in? When do I get in? When do I get in? Ah! Comedian Lance Barton had a lot of potential, but the one thing he needed to work on was his timing. Well, what is this place? This is heaven. Oh, heaven. I've had this dream before. Is Pac in there? Yo, tell Pac I'm here. Heaven. Well, I hate to break it to you, but you're not dreaming. But I'm not dead. Check the guest list and see when Mr. Barton was supposed to arrive. I took him one-tenth of a second before the truck hit. You took him before the truck hit? You killed you could have been a vegetable. I like vegetables! Your body's gone. But we can put you in another person's body as long as no one knows he's dead yet. Who lives here? Charles Wellington, 15 richest man in America. Well, I can't go to the Apollo in that body. How am I supposed to get laughs looking like him? Come on, he looks funny to me. Now, when I go out there, they're gonna see Wellington, not some brother in his clothes, because I don't feel like getting shot today. To everyone else, you look like Wellington, you sound like Wellington, but you see yourself. Who am I? Mr. Wellington, sir? Damn right I'm Wellington. Yes! I got a body! I got a body! Tiger, 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 Tiger Woods, y'all. Hi, darling. Hey, Tiger Woods, y'all. <laughs> this spring, one man is back from heaven. Good morning, Mr. Wellington. Yeah! You better recognize! I know who you are, you cheat. To raise a little hell. I don't know where this came from. It's like he's gone crazy. <laughs> Why don't you do something positive with your money? What does that mean? He wants to be more involved with running the hospital. We got a new slogan. Shot in the head, you get a bed. If your head is bloody, we're your buddies. <laughs> Chris 
rock. Starting next week, both of you get a 200% raise. What got into that Wellington? But I like it. In the ultimate out-of-body experience. Give me your wow. Are you sure I won't die for 40 years? Technically, yes. But, boy, but this body's just a loner. Down to Earth. Can I get the table, Dad? Shake it up, shake it up. Yeah! Shake that thing. Germans capture this city. The entire country will collapse. I want our boys to resist. What we need are heroes. Do you know any heroes? I know one. Armed only with a rifle, he quickly made the Nazi invader realize that from now on, the only way was back. Vasily! Vasily! You've seen the way people look at you, Vasily. You mean something, something bigger than yourself. The whole country is looking at you. Those snipers are demoralizing my army. They sent their top marksman. It seems he's come all the way from Berlin to stop you. How are you going to go about finding this young Russian? I'll fix it so that he's the one who finds me. A battle between two nations became a conflict between two men. I don't stand a chance against this man. If you kill him, you can win the war for us. You've promised people a victory I can't deliver. And is there a girl he loves in his village? Not in his village, here. Does she love him? Paramount Pictures and Mandalay Pictures present... Me too. Joseph Fiennes. She believes in you. Jude Law. You've built me up and up into someone I'm not. Rachel Weiss. It seems your destinies are entwined. Bob Hoskins. Where is he? Where is Vasily? He's dead. And Ed Harris. He isn't dead. Because I haven't killed him yet. A hero never chooses his destiny. Destiny chooses him. What you do for this guy? We got people behind us. You find out what they like and you make it happen for them. They want something for their wife or their girlfriend, get them a nice fur. If all they want is cash, there's always plenty of that. You know I can't get into no trouble, you know that. You won't get into trouble. I won't let you get into trouble. All right, you and me will go inside. Devastating for us. Would you be willing to testify under oath in front of the committee? Well, you know I would never do that. I'm not a rat. He's going to wind up getting all of us into trouble. Maybe you should think about getting him before they do. Make sure he don't turn up. I'll go talk to him. It's way past talk, Bill. What are you doing here? Want to get caught? Take my mother down to the neighbors right now.
This summer, the action is on video and DVD. Renting in December, January. Seems the polar bears are causing quite a fuss at SeaWorld. <laughs> Come face to face with the Gold Coast's most talked about attractions, only at SeaWorld. If you like your Hollywood, I was waiting for you. And why are you waiting for me? Because I wanted to see you. All I know is I feel like a man who just won the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to do so many things right now. Hopefully get a record deal. So what you're saying, we can't do both. You got your priorities, you know? You got your girl, you got your demo, then somewhere down the line, you got me. I'm sorry, I can't cater to your every need. We ain't even asked what I've been up to lately. Probably bore you to tears anyway, right? I want to go out, be spoiled a little. Oh, nothing's good enough for you, is it? What about the things that I want to do, huh? What about them Franklin? What about getting your GED, starting your own business? I know what I said. Now you carrying me? But my heart, heart could never be complete. That's what you need, one of them brothers out there with the suit and the tie, you know, and the condo and all of that. It's thing. not the man I fell in love with. I fell in love with a new Franklin and the saint. Seems like all the shit I want to do, I'm gonna never get there sometime. Baby, you can do anything you want to. Women like you don't come around every day. Somewhere in the Far East, a deadly crime ring is about to trigger an international crisis. But they didn't plan on this. I wish they all could be California Chicken's live, okay? I like them dead, deep fried. You ever heard of Popeyes? I want to show him a good time. Hong Kong style. You get a massage from Chinese girl before? Oh, I got to add out. Oh, let me get her. Her in the black. Her in the pink. Hey, baby. Hurry up. Hey, what's wrong with you? You don't jump in front of a black man in a buffet line? Lee. What? Now I'm on vacation. I don't know him. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Oh, All y'all look alike. It's 
two million Chinese people here, let one of them be your partner. Now. Lee! Kinda. Ah! Ah! Don't worry, Chinese bamboo is very strong. The vacation may be over. I'm finna give you a LAPD But the fun. I'm an undercover agent. Show us a badge or something. Show it again. Is just beginning. What the hell are we doing in Vegas? We got the Mac out, man. We can't go in there like this. What does it mean, Mac out? Nothing touches this body but pure silk. Absolutely. Would your partner like to be wrapped in silk as well? Because personally, I really enjoy it when couples dress alike. I'm gonna go make a big commotion. Then you make your move. You got it? This one is for Mandela! <laughs> yeah! Hey! Have fun. Get ready. Woo! You want some of this? Egyptian style, girl. Come on! <laughs> For a second rush. Hmm, oh, you smell good. <laughs> With the master of smash... <laughs> ...and the talker of trash. I don't even know why the hell I'm even here. I ain't even Chinese. <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Don't nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. Woo! Take off your shirt. Put your pants. Now, I lay down. They tortured him. What are you doing? To surprise. Ridiculed him. Want me to wax him? <sighs> And broke his heart. <laughs> Loser. Pervert. Nasty. What is wrong with this guy? He's wrong with bastard. Hypocrite. What's the matter? <laughs> God, we were so horrible to that guy. What do you think happened to him? Now it's his turn. Hello? He's sending them gifts. <laughs> oh. Roses are red, violets are blue. They'll need dental records to identify you. And nothing will stop him from showing them his love. Does someone want to be my Valentine? Why am I surrounded by all this craziness? It's Valentine's. People get lonely and they start acting strange. I always loved you! The latest victim. It hurts, doesn't it? I promise to be gentle. Valentine. Where the hell is Paige? Oh, she's probably in the hot tub. She always ends up in the hot tub at these parties. funny how sometimes people have a lot more power over you and are not actually there. For years I've searched for my sister in memories. Perfect moments when she turned everything into magic. It made me believe we could change the world. Bibi! <laughs> I love you! Since she left, nothing seems to matter. But finding her again. I came here to find out about Faith, going every place she went. Did you ever know this girl? What do you think you'll find out? Maybe some sort of an answer? She got involved in something. They are planning the most amazing things. This is outrageous. Who do you think you are? And then one day, she disappeared. I have to find out what happened. In her letters, everything sounded intense. You can never tell anyone. She wasn't afraid of anything, was she? Walk into your fear. Don't fight it. This is a mistake. Don't go. What is your problem? Our problem is you. Just no. let me go! No! Do it! If I stop now, it was all for nothing. You let Faith go, and you never even tried to find out what happened. I found you, and you saved my life. This can't happen. Just tell me what happened. I promised Faith I'd never tell anybody. What are you afraid of?
what's going to happen when the ghost you've been chasing disappears. I have come about the room. Bond up. Where are we going to put her? What do you think? We're the police, sweetheart. Your civil liberties are about to be violated. That's the biscuit shelf, Dirk. Scotch fingers, Tim Tams, tiny teddies. This is the pineapple shelf. Welcome to hell. Time to pay the rent. Our oh, swipes. Four months back rent. Otherwise, I need to pay. Stand back, people. We're going in. How about a nice cup of tea? Danny, I demand we have a house meeting. Can you, like, even think of one word for a man who doesn't want to have sex? Dead. Guys with hard-ons. The blood rushes from their brains to their dicks and they all become real stupid. Oof. Do you want to get married? I haven't got a problem getting women. I've got this thing I can do. Send some gaga. Enter me. Enter me. She gasped. Insert yourself, Rodney. I want you inside me. Yes, yes. I hear about your secret weapon. Look at all the fat, ugly whores that get on TV. Why can't I get on TV? You're not on drugs. Only when we can get them. dominates our planet.
Laughter. Action. Entertainment. Forget it. You're on the ABC. If you reckon you've seen all the Late Show has to offer... Australia's biggest grossing non-musical show ever. Well, think again. Hmm. It's the champagne edition of the best bits of the Late Show. A double DVD containing over five hours of the best bits of the Late Show. Sweet. With the very best in music. Father, son left to carry on blue denim in their veins. Oh. Jazz club cats. I like the way they play it, but I don't like that. End up comment from the world of politics. Let me make it quite clear, without using any fancy language, any anachronistic antecedents, that I, without any shadow of a doubt, have forgotten the question. Naughty, naughty. Prime Minister. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Someone's laughingly suggested that your rather distinctive headwear is in fact a, a, a tea towel. It is not a tea towel. It is a, <laughs> it is a traditional. <laughs> We need to love <laughs> each other. And amazing stunts from the best in the business. Smooth corners. Everything has to be checked or someone could get hurt. Ah, wet floor. Wet floor, someone could slip and get... Look at that. So pick that up. Nick, get out here. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie, are you all right? Are you sure you filled it with the right sauce, Nick? How was he to know that you can't put napalm in a griller? Anyone for toast and sandwiches? Plus, exclusive to DVD, 50 minutes of previously unreleased material from this classic ABC comedy. God, it's like some, some nightmare. The players are about to make their way out onto the field, so let's cross down to Tony Gregg for his pitch report. Several cracks have opened up, some of them large enough for me to fit a copy of my new book in. <laughs> I'm very shout! And I'm just shout! There's more. The Champagne DVD edition also features six hours of audio commentary from the entire Late Show cast and some special guests. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I point a big fat finger directly at the pipe and the pack of cronies he hangs out with. It's the must-have DVD everyone's talking about. The Late Show, yes, I've seen that. Yeah. What do you think of that? Not very much. Not up to scratch. No. The best bits of the Late Show. Now available from leading retailers near you. What's all that about? Yibbity, yibbity. That's all, folks.